today on 11th Gorgeous. We like to say money, but kind of really love it. It kind of gets out of control. <laughs> and it went, <laughs> I'm warming up to it. The best of all worlds. Bag. I can't remember the last time we did one of these. No. We might have done like a traveling makeup bag. But this is just an everyday makeup bag. Kind of squished because honestly sometimes we put it in like a gigantic one and we don't even use all of those products. It's just so disorganized. It kind of gets out of control. So today this is what our makeup bag looks like. We actually got these from Clean and Clear I want to say like months, a year ago. I'm not sure but they're Trina Turk and they are super cute. This is probably one of my favorite smaller bags that I have right now. Okay, this is something I've been loving to use every morning before I put on my makeup and it's my Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Eye Cream. I kind of want to get a face cream of this. I think they have a face like day and possibly even night cream. When I first went to do it, it said something about dotting. And so I was like, dot. I was like, what's well, not coming out? Dot. And I went, and it went <laughs> all over my eye and I was like, everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> because I think like it had a little bit in the tip that had kind of gotten dried out. And so yeah. it did not want to come out and then it all of it came out. All at once. I have my favorite blush of the moment, not of all time, but just the one that I've been using and it's Benefit Dallas. I love it because it's just like a natural bronzy color. I have one I've been using a lot lately too and it is the Milani Luminoso and at first I didn't think I liked this but I'm warming up to it. It gives you like a glow. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's a very subtle sheen that it gives you and it's a nice corally color. I have my Moody Blender that is nice and big because I have used it not too long ago. Same here. I don't really have a big eyeshadow palette. I have this one in here right now. It is just a neutral quad from Maybelline and this is limited edition one in Nude Rose. That's not what it is. Nude Romance. <laughs> here. Yeah, we use eyeshadow all over the place. Most of my palettes are big. I only use my eyeshadow on my eyes. I can't use it all over the place. <laughs> the types of eyeshadows we use are all over the place. Like big compacts and small little round ones. But this is one that I like to travel with. It's the Stila. Portrait of a Perfect yes, Eye. Yes, it is. And it's like the rose goldy pretty colors. I love this one. It almost always stays in my makeup bag. I have a tiny little Vaseline. This is Vaseline. I love that at night. I know. Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. I typically will put it on before I do my makeup. Mm, it has a nice light rose scent. I love mm. it. And it makes them like light pink. They're pretty. <sighs> this gives me my moisturization but still gives me that like MAC vanilla. Mm -hmm. I don't know where mine is. I like to use this you know, if I don't feel like putting on lip product and I'm running out the door. It's the best of all worlds. I have my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and then I've got my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. These are like throwback. I've been using these since the beginning of YouTube for days. So, for a minute. I have my favorite one, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This one's water resistant. I don't remember how that happened. But I also have been using the Lash Blast Clump Crusher Extensions. I don't have that in here right now, but this is my all-time favorite. That and the orange one. I, when I used yours, I was like, you need to go it's buy that. Stuff. But kind of really love it. Okay, I have a handful of makeup brushes in here. I've got a mix of Sigma and a Revlon random contour brush. What's that again? And so I've got like flat shader brush, a nice little fluffy crease brush, kind of a more concentrated dome blendy and a more fluffy blendy and a pencil brush. And these are pretty much my like, that's what I need. I have, these are my, these are my makeup. Oh, brush. I forgot my blush brush. It it's made the it. same one? Yeah. But we use the same one. We both use this Pixie, was it Real Techniques? I want to call it Pixie Woo brush. Uh, but the Real Techniques brushes. It still smells like the brush cleaner a little bit. And then I have, these are all Sig Sigma right here, the eye brushes. I have a flat shader, a little fluffy one, and another fluffy one. And I, this is pretty much all I use. Sometimes I'll use the pencil one like she had, but pretty much these are like, and it's so funny because I have like from different collections. All right, this is the foundation I have been rocking lately. It is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 820. We've been trying to get like a new Revlon, but we can never find both of our colors, like two of the same color in stock in a drugstore where we can get a deal on it. Yeah. Because like we would get them separately from different places, but we want to get the buy one get one on them because yeah. it's expensive. We like to save money. I have my Revlon Color Stay. This one is actually an older one because like she said, we're trying to get a lighter color. This is 240. This is what I wear when I have spray tan and then I have like 
put more tanner on myself. This is like oh, summertime girl. darkness. Oh girl. Cause right now I am not even 220, I'm like 200. Oh girl. Okay, this is my concealer I've been rocking. It's the Instant Age Rewind in the Brightener. And I just like it, it's a good one. These are two concealers I've been combining. I used this Dream Lumi one under my eyes and then I have my cover, sheer cover stuff that I'll like use on blemishes and stuff too. And it's been through the ringer, it is nice looking. <laughs> All right, I have my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and this is just a staple that I don't think I'll ever get away from. It's probably my third or fourth one, and I love it. I'm obsessed. Mine's in Painterly, but same thing. This is favorite for contouring. It's the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in N678, medium deep. I love this joker. I use it, but I also use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It depends on the mood that I'm in, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I feel like depending on how my skin's acting, if it's super dry, the powder doesn't work very well and it'll like look spotty and then I'll do better to use the stick, but sometimes I can get away with that. I have this tiny little Jouer Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. I think I got this in like a Birchbox or Ipsy and I've just been using it up and it's another one that I'll put on my lips from time to time. I have some brow products. I'm missing my brow stick, but I've got two of these like light pencils, a Tarte one and uh, the NYX one, and then the Benefit Give Me Brow, and then I don't have my brow pencil. I have my Anastasia Brow is in Ash Blonde, and that's all I use for my brows. I have these two eyeliners. I somehow started using this Tarte like liquid eye pencil. It's flimsier than the Jordana. It's not my absolute favorite, but I've been just trying to use this one up so that I don't buy another Jordana. When I have this one, I can use a little bit. And then I have a Jordana eyeliner that I use if I'm doing waterline. I have the Milani Easy Liner for Eyes Retractable Pencil in black. And this I will just use like waterline and smudge it into the lash line. This replaced, didn't replace, but it's what I picked up after my Stila Damsel eyeliner kind of was all used up. You know you want more, but it's just pricey. <sighs> Sad moment. And then I have my Jordana Fabi Liner Liquid in brown. My last product, which Honestly, I usually keep pretty much, if I'm carrying the big bag, all of the lip products that it can handle. <laughs> but this one was one that I've been reaching for lately and it's just a like crayon-y type thing. It's Laura Mercier. I think we got it in a belt gift bag and you can tell it's been traveling with me because all of the writing is wrapped off. Wrapped off. All of the writing is wiped off but it's just a pretty pink color and I love stick lippies. All right guys, that is everything that is in our makeup bags. Yep, we kind of trimmed it down a little bit for you, but really that's like everything we use on a daily, daily basis. I mean, anything else is just extra. Like I'll it's have like like extra eyeshadow palettes or I'll have extra lippies or extra mascaras that have just kind of found their way into my collection and they need to get back to their home. It's, it's a hoarder's makeup bag. This is how we should keep it. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> All right guys, let us know what some of your must-have makeup products are that you keep in your makeup bag. And if you want to, you can take a picture of what's in there and tag us on Instagram because we would love to see what you keep in your bag. Yay, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If there are any other what's in my bag type videos that you would like to see, you can request them down there. You sure can. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out our other videos because you may not have ever seen them before in your entire life. They're there. They are there. Yep. And we'll talk to all of you guys in our next video. We sure will. Bye guys. Bye guys. Mwah.